All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Justin Gaethje. All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lands the right hand. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Big ball punch man. How he gets back to rain. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's to fight at Featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he's going to click with one strike. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying okay. heavy. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Massive head kick. Behind that leg kick. Good stick. Just misses there with the left. Another shot lands upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Versus Justin, the highlight gauge. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Good punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And they separate. Trying to find a home for that right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And both guys really throwing with authority. Slips the left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That punch will work right through the door. 72 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond for you. 
Well, the accuracy rate not great, the low 40%, now 38% on the connections against Justin Gage. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and one. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times he's jam on that X button, it will not do any damage. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Visibly limping here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. DC and you ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face. Constantly. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one, Fox class, hands up, chin down. Look at the flip action that comes from this throw in that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh! Huge right hand! seen enough winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man.